Hello, salam, shalom, aloha, sasrikal, namaste, and hola. So good to be back here with you. Hey, if you don't know me, my name is Samia Bano, and I am your happiness expert and author of the book, Make Change Fun and Easy, How to Create Inner Peace to World Peace in Three simple steps. So that's the topic I love to talk about the most. And one really important thing that can make change not fun and easy, make change feel really hard, in fact, is when we feel fear. And I must say that fear is an emotion that has held me back from living the life I love, from living the life I dreamed of more than any other emotion. Because it was just such a powerful um, controller of my behavior. And I think that's the case with pretty much all of us. You know, after all, fear is a signal from our brain that is warning us that, hey, I perceive some kind of danger, some kind of threat. I'm, you know, concerned that I'm going to get hurt. My safety is in jeopardy, you know. So when, when the brain senses any, any danger, threat of that sort, it produces a feeling of fear. And so no wonder it is such a strong feeling, it's such an intense feeling, and it tends to have such a huge impact on our behavior, right? And so for years, I, I'm, I'm telling you, uh, I struggled to figure out how do I deal with my fear? How do I get over it? How do I allow myself to continue to work through it if necessary. And, um, you know, I've listened to probably, I don't know, hundreds of different YouTube uh, videos and read so many different books and so forth on this issue of how do I deal with my fear? How do I overcome it? How do I transform it? You know, when I was first um, introduced to this idea of transforming fear, I found it very exciting because I was like, wow. You know, it's like one thing to think about, like, being able to struggle through it, you know, being able to push through it, which, by the way, wasn't a very pleasant idea at all and um, not something that I was very inclined to do. And so when the first time this idea was introduced to me that you could even maybe transform fear, I was like, oh, that's the direction I want to go in because then, you know, I, I, I don't even have to feel fear. It'll be transformed into something else, right? So how can I transform it? And so actually in my book, I have a whole section in here talking about um, how we can transform our fear into our friend. And so when I, when I talked about that in this book, that was the best advice, the best wisdom that I had access to at that time. Since then, I have grown even wiser. And I have found an even more amazing way to understand fear and to just have it disappear from my life. And I'm so excited to share that with you. And that's what I'm talking about. Uh, if you, if you um, joined in the Facebook Live, if you noticed the title I put in, I said, Fear is an illusion. That's the title I put on this live. And that's right. You know, I really have come to believe in the truth of this idea that fear is actually an illusion. An illusion in what sense? 
Well, I'm going to share with you something I learned from one of my teachers. Uh, I, I don't know if this is, you know, something that he, is his own original saying or if he also learned it from someone else. But in any case, I learned it from my te one of my teachers, uh, Johnny Gass. So Johnny Gass, and I, I was taking this uh, class with him, and he said, Fear is an illusion created because we have bought into the myth of abandonment. Fear is an illusion created because we have bought into the myth of abandonment. So think about that. Hey, thanks for tuning into this episode. Hope you're getting value out of it. For your information, this episode has been sponsored by the Happiness 101 program. Are you a change maker, coach, trainer, or healer? Are chains of fear holding you back from making the impact and income you desire? Using a unique combination of positive psychology and the spiritual wisdom of our most effective change makers, the Happiness 101 program helps you break through your limiting beliefs and manifest the abundance and success you desire with fun and ease. Interested? Book a free Happiness 101 exploration call with me, your happiness expert, Samya Vano. Just use my online calendar link in the show notes. Now back to the show. So what he is, what the saying is teaching us or inviting us to consider and reflect on is the idea that really behind all our fear, our sense of fear, the root of it is that we feel abandoned, that we feel alone. We've bought into, we have developed a deep belief that in this moment when I'm experiencing fear, I am alone. I have been abandoned. I don't have help. I don't have uh, enough uh, strength myself. I don't have enough capacity, knowledge, whatever may, else may be required. I don't have enough of it myself to deal with the situation. And there is no one else here capable of helping me, protecting me through whatever this difficult situation is, through whatever is triggering these signals of danger, danger, danger uh, in my brain. You know, and so because you, when you feel alone like this and you believe you're alone like that, that is actually at the root of the fear that you're feeling. And that fear could take on um, you know, many forms. It could be triggered on the surface by many different things for many different reasons. You know, we, we talk about, oh, you know, um, you have the fear of loss, for example. You have fear of um, being hurt. You have a fear of, um, uh, I don't know, uh, like for me, the fear of not being believed um, uh, as a survivor of child sexual abuse, uh, that was a huge one for me. And, uh, you know, there's so many different reasons fear can crop up. But Johnny Cass, my teacher, he invited us in sharing this teaching with, with us to, to re reflect, go beyond the surface and like, dig deeper to the root and, and see what's at the root of why I'm feeling fear. And you know, one of the things that really helped me to understand uh, this idea 
and that really actually convinced me that this was true is something that I actually shared with you in my last week's uh, broadcast. Last week, I was telling you that as a Muslim, one of the things we are taught to do, uh, in fact, one of the very first things you are, we are taught to do, anytime you find yourself feeling stressed, worried, anxious, scared, you know, in any kind of difficult circumstance, is that you call out to God and you seek God's refuge. You say, God, I seek refuge in you. You know, and uh, the question is, why? Why should we do that? You know, how does that really help us? Now, if you think about this idea of seeking God's refuge at a time when you're feeling fear, and think about the definition of fear, as my teacher Johnny taught us, that fear is an illusion created because we have bought into the myth of abandonment. Doesn't it make sense? Can you see the connection? Because, okay, this is something also that I talked about last week. So I hope, you know, today I can just go over it much more briefly and then we'll be done. Okay, much, much uh, uh, quickly, uh, very, very quickly today. <laughs> so remember, if, if you, if you uh, watched the live last time, I was talking about how by invoking God's protection, uh, seeking God's refuge in this way, one thing that we are able to do is actually remind ourselves, remind ourselves of, of God's presence in our life right now. See, because as a Muslim, I also believe that, you know, God is ever present. God is ever present. God is um, not only ever present, but God loves me completely and continuously. There is never a moment when God doesn't love me, or when God abandons me or something, you know? God's always with me, always taking care of me, always helping me, wanting to help me through whatever the situation might be, the difficult circumstance, the adversity, whatever might be triggering my fear, doesn't matter. And the thing is, I also believe that God is all-powerful, God is all-knowing, God is all-wise, God is just, the most just, the most compassionate, the most merciful. So when you put all of that together, right? And I believe this being who has all of these qualities is with me now, every moment, helping me, protecting me, loving me, that I'm not alone. I cannot feel alone. When I recognize I'm not only seeking God's refuge in the moment, but I'm actually already in God's refuge now, I cannot feel alone anymore. True or true. And so the moment my sense of loneliness or being abandoned, uh, that illusion is broken, the fear disappears because now the brain has no more reason to keep giving me this alarm, to keep uh, putting out the signal of danger, danger. There's some threat, some, uh, you know, uh, something that's going to make you unsafe or that's going to hurt you. It, it, it has no more reason to send out the signal because it's feeling so calm and relaxed in the knowing and the recognition that God is right here with us, helping us, loving us, taking care of us. And as such, no matter what the situation is, we can get through it. We'll get through it one way or another and, you know, come out just fine on the other side. Okay. So I reflect 
uh, so I reflected on this, and um, you know, when I realized the 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 truth of it for me, it's changed my life. It's changed my relationship to my experience of fear and how I deal with my feeling of fear whenever I uh, experience it. And I'm telling you, with practice, uh, you can like really um, uh, use this use this technique to just make fear disappear from your mind, from your uh, 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 feelings, from your heart. Like sometimes all it takes is like a few seconds of just really focusing in on this reminder uh, and this uh, raising your consciousness uh, 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 to this idea of, you know what, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I've not been abandoned. Um, and you know, if you don't believe in God, uh, in the concept of God, uh, in the way that I do, uh, that's all right. I still encourage you to find other evidence in your life experience that you are not alone, that you can access help and support when you need it. And, you know, even if you do feel alone in this moment, um, and you don't feel the presence of anyone in your life in the moment that you believe and trust can get you through this difficult situation that's making you feel afraid, well, at least can you believe that, um, you know, you can find that someone in your life, you know? So uh, don't give up hope. Like maybe grab on to this um, rope of hope in that moment and be like, you know what, let me find some help, find some support that can get me through this difficult time, that can help me feel not alone in this moment. So then, you know, my fear can lessen and um, at least I can bring it down to a point where I, I, it becomes very manageable. Okay, so do that, and um, if you're like, well, how do I even uh, do that? If you're really struggling to, to, to have that hope, um, well, then I, I refer you back to the live that I did, the broadcast that I did, maybe I think it was a couple of weeks ago when we discuss the quote by Albert Einstein, where Albert Einstein says, you know, one of the most important decisions that you make in your life is whether you live in a friendly universe or a hostile universe, you know? And so this is a question of, you know, you doing uh, what you can, like make, putting in some real effort in your life to find what evidence you can that you do live in a friendly universe. Because if you can believe that you live in a friendly universe, then you can believe that you can find the help and support that you need when you need it. Okay, so uh, yes, please do this for yourself. And I assure you that if you, if you really practice implementing these ideas in your life it will change your life for the better it will help uh, just transform your relationship to how you see fear understand fear deal with fear and um, yeah let me know uh, how it goes for you if you have any reflections or questions uh, please just uh, put them in the chat um, below the video and uh, I will see you next time. Until then, salam, shalom, namaste, satsriya kaal, aloha, hola.